Yo, what is up guys, it Ghost here, and today we're going to be talking about some new leaks that have come out of Apple Box, not Temporial. Temporial has actually hung up his data mining shoes, as it were, or his pickaxe, whatever you want to call it. And Apple Box, who is another data miner, has unearthed some new information on the Leviathan Rising event that will be coming to Season 4 very soon. We're also going to be taking a look at some of the new skins in the store that are stirring up a bit of controversy. And then we're going to be taking a look at some of the stuff health changes that have actually happened in patch 4.1 if you guys haven't seen the patch changes for the update that just came out today go and check out this video so that you're up to date but there have been some new changes that we've discovered that aren't actually in the update notes so that is all coming up before we begin though don't forget to subscribe if you enjoyed the battlefield content so you don't miss out on any future videos we've just surpassed 42,000 subscribers so thank you guys very much for the support as always so as you guys have most likely heard the new season 4 event is called leviathan rising and included in this event will of course be a new game mode so according to apple box's data mine here the new game mode is called shutdown and it's played in two different rounds at the end of the first round teams switch roles and then they play again so something like rush or breakthrough the team who shuts down all objectives the fastest or achieves an overall higher score wins now this here is the EMP gadget that is used to deactivate objectives. So as opposed to having a stationary objective that you just go and arm like an MCOM station in Rush, this is going to be, I guess, somewhat similar to Obliterate, where you actually have to pick up the EMP gadget or perhaps you spawn with it, like, you know, I don't know, Counter-Strike or something, and then you take it over to an objective and deactivate it with the EMP gadget. So Applebox tweeted out, instead of a bomb, the new mode uses EMP to deactivate objectives. The attackers only have one gadget per team that spawns on the map. Oh, okay, so this does spawn on the map, and it's just, again, yeah, it's like Airborne from BF5. So also like Obliterate, you know, you're going to have to fight for that although obviously in obliterate you don't have attackers and defenders you're both trying to attack the enemy's objective in this game mode you are going to have an attacking side and a defending side so that actually sounds kind of interesting that's going to be fun to see how that plays out and you know be able to take down whoever's carrying the emp will the defenders actually be able to know who's got the emp or not i don't know i guess we'll uh, find that out once the game mode finally releases now it wouldn't be a mid-season event without some new cosmetics so here are some of the screenshots which is the promotional artwork i believe for the event itself and of course it shows off some of the cosmetics here so we've got one for dozer one for pike there here's another screenshot with some cosmetics showing the emp gadget working i have to say they seem to have gone with the scary mask theme i'm not really sure what to think of this some of them look pretty cool you know quite halloweeny almost i suppose but some of them i don't know rather shiny i don't really know what to make of it i don't love them i don't hate them either though now of course this information has already been posted over on the battlefield 2042 subreddit lots of people have commented there sharing their thoughts on these skins and how amazing they think they look they think they really fit the theme of the game and dice have absolutely hit it out of the park no i'm only joking of course that didn't happen those have got some drips rest of them seems goofy ass skins great another casper skin because the people that don't leave spawn needed another reason to do nothing this looks dumb as fuck so yeah some much love all around for that and then the fun continues as well you guys may recall a video i made a few months ago on a data mine by temporal where he found some anime skins buried deep within the files that i assumed were going to be released at one point for the game but dice thought better of it they thought you know what we don't really want to rile up the player base any more than we already have with this game so let's just put that one on the back burner let's you know wait till the timing is correct or maybe better still cancel it altogether and don't get me wrong guys you know i watch anime i love anime um i don't really per se have anything against anime skins but i just don't really think that the world of battlefield is perhaps the right place for it i know a lot of people will disagree with that and say hey if i enjoy anime and i like anime on my skins not my weapons what's wrong with that it isn't really hurting anyone and i think as long as it stays on weapons and vehicles you know maybe it's not too bad but at at the end of the day that is part of what you're looking at in the game and if you were to plaster it all over the buildings and whatnot like like where does this stop it kind of takes away from the world um the immersion i suppose of the game however these very skins have today with the new update turned up on the in-game store so i already know that everybody on reddit is going to be loving these new skins you know i mean anime skins is definitely what 
the Battlefield community want, and I'm sure that we've seen plenty of praise here, and it's not an absolute shit... Oh, okay, never mind, yeah. It's an absolute shitstorm, guys. Anime. This is gonna sell like hotcakes to the weebs. Something tells me this won't be the last. That looks like shit, man. Guys, stop. Please tell me this isn't real. Don't like it, don't buy it, lol. Now, I gotta say, hate me all you want, but I'm kind of digging the dozer on the Mav one. The other one, it doesn't really look that good. It's for the PKP, and I don't fully understand how you're even gonna see this skin. Nobody else is going to see it. It's only really for your eyes. So, like, how are you gonna even look at that weapon on, on the um, stock of the gun there? I don't really use the PKP, so who knows? Maybe that is a part of the weapon that you can actually see, or perhaps you only get a quick sneak peek whenever you reload, but yeah, I don't know. I think they could have done a better job with a skin like this for the PKP or any other weapon in the game. The Dozer one, in my opinion, is a thousand times better. I'm sure you guys, in any case, will have your own opinions on this for them or against them, so uh, I look forward to reading those below. Keep it civilized, guys. I know, I know you will. <clears throat> now, finally here, let's take a look at a pretty important stealth change that has snuck its way into patch 4.1, and that is for the M5 recoilless launcher. So apparently it now reloads much faster. I read this online, I then jumped in game to check this out, and I definitely feel as though it reloads a little bit faster. I'm showing you guys on screen here, and it may be difficult to see it if you're not actually playing the game, but go and pick this gadget up guys and give it a try for yourself, and you'll probably see what I'm thinking about. I think that after reading that it reloads faster, it's kind of like a placebo effect. I think it's going to reload faster, so my brain tells me that it's reloading faster, but I'm almost sure that it definitely is reloading faster. So let me know if you can confirm this with me, or maybe we're all just wrong on that. In any case, I think it's a nice little change to the M5 here. It's not making it any more powerful. It just means you're going to be able to get a couple of shots off in short time. Now, if you guys missed Friday's video, that was going over all of the actually mention changes in patch 4.1 so if you don't know what those are and you're interested in the new weapons and the changes to the armor plate system and the specialist mastery system go and check that video out i'll link it for you guys in the corner as always if you enjoyed the video hitting a like or even that sub button is highly appreciated hit me up on twitter guys there's a link down below if you want to shoot the shit with me over there that's usually where you can catch me in the day or the evening or really any time of night as well i'm probably on there more than it should be but in any case thank you for spending a few minutes of your time with me today hope you guys have a good time with a new patch and i'll see you in the next video